In this video, I'm going to show you that how can you export PDF with the help of Laravel. So lots of developers having issues when they want to export PDF or export Excel with the help of Laravel. But believe me, with the help of Laravel, you can easily export your PDF files or Excel files. So in this video, I'm going to show you how can you export PDF. And in the next video, I will also show you that how can you export Excel files. So you can see th in this application, I just have all the users coming from the database in this table and it is almost 20 users coming from the database. And the most important thing is these two buttons. The one is view PDF button and the other one is the download PDF button. What I want to do uh, when I click this view PDF button and when I click this uh, download PDF button, I want to show or download all the users in the PDF. So it is not functional yet. So let's make it functional. Now, uh, first of all, let's see uh, the package that we are going to use. The package is the Laravel DOM PDF that we are going to use in our, in, in our application to export PDF. And this is a very helpful package to export PDF in Laravel. You can find uh, uh, a very good documentation in this Git repository. I will also share this uh, repository link in my video description. So first of all, let's install this uh, package into our application. Let's uh, copy this composer command <coughs> and let's uh, go to your code editor and let's open a new terminal and let's paste it in here and let's run this and this will install this package into our application. So after installing this package, if you are using Lumen, then you can also follow these steps. But we are not using Lumen. So here you can see you can also find the documentation that how you can use it. A very simple documentation and very simple usage. But first, let's configure this package. Let's, let's copy this uh, command and let's go to your code editor again. And let's paste it in here and let's run this command okay so it will generate your config files of this package now we have successfully installed and configured this package into our application now we can easily use this package into our application to export or download the PDF files into our application so let's open your code editor and let's go to your controller so first of all in this application I have two functionalities one is to view PDF and second one is to download PDF so first of all, first of all let's uh, work with view pdf let's make a function function and uh, in here you can easily use pdf with the help of facet so let's use pdf but make sure to use facet at the top of the class okay so let's use pdf now P this package provides multiple functions to use uh, like load HTML or load view so first of all let's use load HTML to export the PDF so in this function you need to provide a HTML tag so let's uh, provide h1 and let's say hello from techniki code and let's save it now you need to pro uh, you need to return the response like uh, what you want to do either you want to uh, uh, view the PDF or either you want to download a PDF so in this function we want to view the PDF so we can use a stream functions so here you can see in this documentation there is a stream function to view the PDF and there is a <coughs> download function to download the PDF so let's use a stream function here and do not forget to return this response and let's save this now let's make route for this function and this route should be post request so let's uh, say users slash view PDF. Now let's call our controller that is home controller and let's call the function that is a view PDF function. Now let's give uh, a name to this route. Let's say uh, view PDF, view dash PDF. Let's save this. Now we can easily use this route to our index page. So let's go to the view PDF button because we want to add the view PDF functionality. So let's go to the view PDF button. And now we want to add a form here because 
we have created a post request now let's add a form here and uh, let's add a route in the action and the route that we have created is the view dash pdf and let's uh, remove this id because we do not need to pass any parameter and let's add a csrf token now let's move this button into this form so let's move this div into this form and uh, let's save it now let's refresh this uh, but we also need to um, add a target here you can also skip this but this is a good way to view your pdf in a new tab so let's uh, add target blank refresh this now let's click view pdf ok so here you can see it. Uh, our pdf has been generated with a heading hello from techniki code so we have uh, generated our pdf successfully but this is a very simple pdf with a heading so uh, now let's uh, add a template uh, a view template and let's generate a pdf from view to generate pdf from view uh, there is a function that is load view and that function will uh, generate pdf from your view file so first of all let's get all the users because we want to uh, print or get all the users into our pdf file okay now let's use a function that is load view function and in this function we need to pass uh, our view name and then uh, the data we want to print so first of all let's create a view because we didn't create it any view yet so let's create a view uh, let's go to your uh, views folder let's go to the resources then views and then let's create a new folder pdf and in this folder let's create a new view uh, user details dot blade dot php you can create uh, uh, with a name you want so let's create this view and uh, i have a template a ready made template that i already have created an html template so here you can see in this template i I haven't used any bootstrap styles or tailwind styles or any uh, framework uh, uh, CSS framework and I'll, I also I didn't use any external files styles so it is recommended then that you should use inline styles like this because um, if you add the bootstrap or external file styles it will uh, you will face error because it will not load properly into your PDF so please uh, add inline styles in your view files that you want to convert into pdf now let's save this now let's uh, print all the users that we are getting in our view from the controller uh, first of all let's remove these uh, tr and now let's add a for each loop here and let's uh, call a variable that we have added now let's uh, add this tr into this for each loop now the uh, the fields that we want the first thing we need we want the first name of the user and the second thing we want is the last name of the user and then the email of the user and then the date of creation of the user now also format this uh, created a date with the help of uh, php and let's save it now here you can see uh, in this load view we need to pass the uh, uh, the blade file name the view file name so let's pass the user details view file name first the folder name that is pdf then dot uh, the view file name then the second parameter in the second parameter we need to pass the data so we need to print the user's data so let's pass this user data let's save it and let's refresh the application now let's view this pdf okay so we got an error uh, that is because of uh, the second parameter must be the type of array so this is because we have added this user variable but this is not a type of array so let's make this variable a type of array so let's um, make this variable array with the help of array function 
now let's save this now let's ref uh, go to the application again and let's test this again and here we can see now we got our PDF in a in a special format so there is no gap between table and the heading so let's add a gap let's add a style in this table let's add a position relative and let's add some gap between the heading and the table so here you can see I am using uh, inline style in all over this view because it should it, it will be converted into the uh, PDF let's refresh this okay so here you can see we now have a gap between heading and table so we have implemented the view PDF functionality into our application so do you see how easy is this to uh, convert your view file into your PDF now let's go to our controller again and I want to show you uh, another function another functionality that you should have used and the function that you should have used or you you can use is the set paper function and this function is used to set the paper size of this PDF let's say I want to convert this portrait size into landscape so I can use uh, uh, the set paper function and in this function the first parameter I want to pass is the uh, paper uh, legal paper name let's say A4 and the second parameter I want to pass the style of the paper let's say landscape and let's save this and let's test this out and here you can see now our PDF is in landscape format now let's again convert into the portrait format so let's instead of uh, landscape uh, right here portrait save it and again refresh this and here you can see now our uh, PDF is in portrait format now uh, we have implemented the uh, view PDF functionality so let's uh, implement the download PDF functionality so let's go to the controller again and let's make a new function to uh, implement the download PDF functionality let's add a new function and let's give it a name download PDF now we need to uh, just copy this uh, logic and paste it in here because we just need to change the stream function uh, so let instead of instead func in stream function we need to uh, return the download function and in this download function we can provide the name of the PDF in uh, PDF so the PDF will be downloaded in a name that you have provided so let's say user dash details dot PDF so the PDF will be downloaded with this name let's save this now let's create a route for this function let's uh, create a route and this is also post request let's say users slash download dash pdf and then let's call our controller and then let's call our uh, function that is uh, download pdf and let's give this route a name let's say download dash pdf now let's save this now we can use this route into our uh, index file now let's add a form and in this form let's add a route that we have created for download pdf download dash pdf and uh, remove this id because we do not need any parameter now let's add the method equals to post because this is a post request now let's move this button into this form and uh, let's save this and also uh, let's add the target equals to blank it is up to you you can add this target equals to blank or not now let's save this and uh, let's change the button type equals to submit now let's go to the uh, uh, website and let's refresh so let's click download PDF and here you can see our PDF can be downloaded and this PDF has the same name that we have provided into our controller here you can see into our controller we have provided the users dash details so this PDF has the same name now let's open this PDF and let's see here you can see we got the same PDF with the same styling so we have implemented the download PDF uh, functionality also uh, now I want to show you how can you also add your logos or your asset images into your PDF so here you can see this is the logo that I have added in my PDF and this is the dummy logo from the another server 
now let's add our own logo from the asset folder let's use asset function and let's use our logo so this is the logo uh, that I want to add <coughs> in this PDF this is a simple Laravel logo uh, now let's uh, save this and let's go to the website and let's uh, uh, view the PDF so here you can see uh, our PDF is not generating it taking too much time and we got an error so this is because the Laravel could not found the logo uh, with the help of asset function so how can we add our logo or asset asset files into the PDF so we should use public path function instead of asset function so let's go and use public path function so let's add public path function here and let's save this now again go to the website and refresh this and let's uh, <coughs> and let's check the view PDF now here you can see we got our logo the same logo that we have added uh, in our view so uh, whenever you want to add your logo or your asset files you should use public path function instead of asset function okay so now we have implemented uh, both functionalities view pdf and download pdf and i hope that this video uh, will help you to understand that how can you use uh, or convert to your view to pdf or how can you export pdf with the help of laravel and with the help of laravel dom pdf so if the if you if you are facing any error uh, regarding to this video or uh, regarding to the uh, export PDF or anything in anything then or in anything then you can mention your problem or your error in the comment box in the comment box of this video I will try my best to uh, solve your error or uh, answer your queries